GitHub recently introduced this GitHub models, which can be the killer of hugging face. Now, if you don't know what is hugging face, you can check out a video I have created, which is like, what is hugging face? But in a brief, I can tell you hugging face is just like a GitHub repository, but for open source LLM models. But GitHub is also in the competition. And when there is a competition, the winner is always the user. So let's check out about the GitHub models and let us start this video. Hello and welcome to Bitfumes. I'm your host Sarthak and this video is all about the GitHub models and how it can give competition to hugging face. And there is one catch related to Google. I'm going to tell you very soon, but you need to watch till the end. And if you like these kind of videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit like button because that's how these videos can reach to many people. If you have any problem, any issue, any suggestions, then just comment below and I'm going to create video on that. Okay, talking about this post. Introduction to GitHub model, a new generation of AI engineers building on GitHub. So GitHub basically says, if you are a developer and if you want to be an AI developer, this should be an easy transition. And for that, if you are a GitHub lover, you might going to love GitHub models. But what exactly GitHub models is? So just like you have open source model listed on the hugging face repositories, Similar to that, if you go on github.com slash marketplace slash models, you will find all the open source model available here, whether it's Llama, Mistral, or even open AI GPT models. So if you want to interact with them, it's very, very easy. Just click on any model and then you will land on this page which is basically saying the readme information about the model but the interesting part is you can actually see how it works so here you can say hey uh, tell me about yourself now if i hit enter and now it's going to actually run the model with the prompt we have given. So it says I'm an artificial intelligence language model, which means I'm computer program, blah, blah, a lot of different things. But with this interaction, you can see detail about the model, like what this model is, context is 131K input, 4K output, release date, rate limits, provider, everything and you can actually set some parameters to interact with your model you can set the maximum token set the temperature and all of other things if you are interested in playing with this model okay so that's just for interacting but what if you really want to code with this github models so here we have this code button so if you go there you can choose the language you want like python javascript or even the rest and here it's actually using the azure ai for inferencing these models okay so we are going to interact with this model from the code they have given for that we need a github token and that's easy you can just go to your settings and on the settings if you go at the bottom on the developer setting you can click on this tokens classic token and then create one and once you have the token you can get started you can also get started and learn more about how you can use these model through code then click on this get started green button it's going to guide you step by step so you can first need to create the token then use this pip install azure ai inference package and then here is the code okay i have tried all these things on the google collab so here you can see i have installed this i have set up the github token and finally i have run the code and here we have the answer great but since it's github it always promote you to use its ecosystem and that's why it has this run code space now code space is you can consider it as the vs code on the cloud so here you can see i have started 
interacting with the model through this GitHub code space. Now, you can see I have this readme for the model. I have some samples for that, which I just showed you. And you can interact with that directly from this VS code on the cloud. They call it code space. Great. One more thing is there. If you see how many models are available there, then there is a catch regarding the Google thing. Now, what is Google thing? Now on Hugging Face, you will going to find every kind of model. It doesn't matter who has created. If it is open source, it should be listed there. Anyone can list the models there. But here on this GitHub models, if you find Gemma, okay, it's not there. It's their competitors model. It's not available. So I think that's not good. If you want to create something open source, then you should improve with any models anyone has created it doesn't matter is it your competitor or not anyways so this is good with models but against hugging face this is not matured with hugging face you can have the model listed you can also have the data set you have the spaces you have many more things with hugging face hugging face is way way ahead of github models right now but since it's github it's a product of microsoft they can they can actually kill the hugging face easily right now it just started with the model very soon you will going to see all of the things which is available on the hugging face they will going to have it here but what do you think do you think github can give competition to hugging face can be the killer of hugging face if yes then just write your comment in the comment box and tell me what your thought about the github model versus the hugging face and if you like these kind of videos then please please go and hit subscribe button and also hit the like button so that this video can reach to more people share this video with your friends or on social media don't forget to tag me at sarzak savvy and see you in the next video till then goodbye